a bizarre lawsuit filed by a woman who reportedly got wasted at a Marilyn Manson concert, then got in her car and drove away, got in an explosive accident which reportedly caused $15 million worth of damage, and now she's suing the company that served her alcohol, according to a new report from Insider. Crazy stuff. Now, before we continue, we have a lot of returning viewers. Most of you have not yet subscribed. If you could just take a quick second to hit that subscribe button, we would really appreciate it. The article reads, a 26-year-old woman left a Marilyn Manson concert wasted and devastated the residents of a Canadian street after an explosive car crash. Daniela, who pleaded guilty to four counts of impaired driving causing bodily harm in October 2020, caused an estimated 10 to 15 million in damages. She was sentenced to three years in prison in February 2021 and is now suing the venue for kicking her out of the venue despite her level of intoxication, according to the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. Referred to as the car bomb fiasco by the CBC, the incident occurred on August 14th, 2019 in Ontario, a seven minute drive from the show at the Budweiser Gardens Arena where Marilyn Manson had been performing. She crashed her Ford Fusion, which had been registered under her father's name into a single home. But moments later, a broken gas line caused by the crash set off an explosion that ripped apart four homes and injured seven people nearby. She's also faced legal backlash in at least six civil suits with victims urging her to pay for the damages, according to The Independent. This has prompted her and her father, Sean, to file a lawsuit against o Ovation's Ontario Food Services, who they believe should also share some of the liability. They are facing, or they are accusing the food services of having no regard for her intended mode of transportation as she exited Budweiser Gardens when they knew or ought to have known that she appeared to be intoxicated and or impaired. Um, so Insider was unable to obtain a copy of the legal documents. The Ontario Superior Court of Justice in Oakview Group, which owns the food services, did not respond for comment, and they couldn't reach the woman who filed the suit for comment either. Pretty bizarre lawsuit, crazy situation. Let me know what you all think in the comments. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the latest news and updates.